Hey, planty friends. Um, today I'm gonna take you along plant shopping again. I just can't stop. There's so many cute little nurseries here in Portland, Oregon, but this one's actually in Gresham slash Rockwood, if you're familiar. Um, it's called The Other Side Nursery. I've heard it's a pretty small shop, so I'm hoping that I can film a little bit because I think it's fun to share with you what is available. Um, I might not buy anything today because my friend actually picked up two plants that are amazing. Um, for me yesterday and I'll show those to you at the end along with anything else that I do pick up. Let's go. Okay, so I'm back home and I know I'm kind of backlit, but it's gonna be fine because I'm going to show you close-ups of what I got. I did have a small budget to work with, but that's actually really easy at this shop because they have such awesome, like unique plants and just lots of really cool plants and they are all priced very well. So I was able to get quite a few things um, and I wanted to spend, like I think it was under $30, maybe it was 32. The first, I've been wanting one of these snake plants, uh, Dracaena cylindrica sansevieria. This is a four inch. And I'll do a close up in just a minute. I'll turn around. <laughs> Today's like plant chore day and right next to me are like hundreds of plants. Not hundreds, but lots. Second up, I got this watermelon begonia. And it is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I've never seen one of these in real life. And I wasn't too familiar with them anyways. I didn't realize that they could be trailing and I love that. So I'm hoping to maybe put this in my kitchen window. I just ordered some acrylic shelves that like can suction cup on and that would just be really pretty. I do need to look up the care on this one, but I'm gonna guess it's just like anything else. So we're gonna check that out. And then I just had to grab a few smaller ones and I appreciate when shops have smaller plants because that means it's going to be more affordable, not always, but for a lot of plants and it will give you a chance to maybe try things out that you wouldn't. Um, this is a Pilea spruciana Norfolk. 
I really like the um, texture on it. I'll flip the camera around in just a sec. And then this, because I love anything pink, it's called Pink Star, Earth Star. It's a Cryptonanthus bivatus. <laughs> So let me go ahead now and I'll turn it around so you can see everything close up. But I also grabbed this really cute little planter also. I needed something to plant. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot. I have some amazing things from the shop that my friend picked up, duh. And that's what I'm going to be putting in here. So I gotta show you those. So yes, I got a begonia amphioxus. Amph amphioxus, I think that's how you say it. This is so beautiful. I know that these can be quite expensive and I didn't ever want to get one that I needed to have shipped because I was just worried. They seem a little bit more sensitive, but I am very excited. So if you have any care tips, please let me know. Then we got this other begonia, Drage or Glasgow, and it even has the tiniest little blooms. I hope it can focus for you because it's so cute and it's just so miniature. And like I was saying, I wanted to get a really cute little pot to go ahead and put this into. Even though I think I'm gonna put this in my Ikea greenhouse, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you think. But yes, I got some amazing things here and I am so excited to have these in my house now. I can't believe they are mine. See, I told you it was watering day. I have all of these to water today and then these to just take care of. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.